Hi there, I'm Nikki from Gracie's House. I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. Today I'm gonna to be working on this piece and part one of the video is going to be working with an A1 decoupage paper from the new release called Peaceful Ponder. So I've already pre-cut to measure to the front of my chest of drawers. So I've just measured down and cut along and that's my leftover piece from the bottom. I've torn the edges. It's really, really easy to tear this fabric um, it's kind of a thick tissue paper, but you can tear it so you can get a really, really nice smooth edge. So I'm going to be doing some other pieces here, but we'll move on to that later. So I'm going to be using the Matte Decoupage Gel, which is a newish product from Redesign with Prima. Very, very good for working with all of the decoupage papers. I would recommend you wear gloves. It's very, very sticky and uh, you can see how thick it is. It doesn't come off your hands easily, so I am going to put some gloves on. You can use a brush to apply. You can use a spatula or anything that you, your favorite um, tool to use. I'm going to be using a two inch silicone brush because it, it enables you to get quite an even finish. And just make sure again that you clean your, your tool as soon as you've finished because it will stick and it, it, it dries very, very hard. So I'm gonna be placing my medium across the whole area where I'm gonna be adding my tissue paper. I'm gonna avoid the keyhole there. And I'm gonna do it in sections. So I'm gonna get this top piece done first and then I can just do a drawer at a time. But the, the paper will stay in, in one sheet. You can be fairly generous with this decoupage medium. I'm just gonna do the top of that drawer as well. And it's great, you can use this as a sealer for your decoupage as well as the adhesive medium. Let's just see if I've gone far enough over. So I need to, I need to go a bit further over on that top section. And this is, this is a great um, technique, decoupaging, so you can see there's a little bit of a veneer damage there. So on this particular piece, although the veneer is beautiful, um, there is some damage, which is a shame, but this is a great way to utilize a nice shaped piece of furniture. Saving from landfill as we go. I'm just going to make sure I've got enough on this corner. And you can decide um, if you want to put it just in the drawer fronts. I've gone for a whole, um, a full, full kind of coverage on this piece. So I'm just going to place it in, in and use again. You can just use your hands. And the, the great thing about these papers is because they're quite thick. If you feel like you've got your placement a little bit wrong, you can peel back and reposition and just keep on working. And you can see that the print colors are really, really intense. So you can see where there's, there's all sorts of colors here. If you wanted the whites to be really, really vibrant, you can paint on the background. But I wanted to show all the texture through on this particular piece. So as you can see, I'm just going straight on without painting, just straight onto the wood and the colors are so vibrant, the wood's not really showing through. So I've got a little bit of a crease there, so I'm just lifting it up and then going back down. You could smooth with a brayer, but because we've got our hands in gloves, it's just as easy to use your hands. Okay, so we're gonna to move to the next section. So I can just lift up my decoupage paper and continue applying my medium. Whoops, just pop that up there. You could apply the whole, the whole area all in one go. If you wanted to, I just didn't want to run the risk of anything drying out because it's quite a large area. If you're doing smaller pieces, then you can just obviously do those as you go as well. Mm -hmm. 
The transfer tool, the plastic transfer tool is another handy item to use if you wanted to smooth out with the transfer tool as well. Obviously I will wait for this to dry and then I can just use a craft knife to run along all of my drawer edges. Oops, that was stuck to my glove. So you can see there where I've ever I, if ever it just is showing that there might be a little bit of a crease, I just lift it up and smooth back down. Anywhere it, it's not sitting on the edges quite right, I can just sand off. Once it's dry, you can just use a sanding block and go over those edges. Okay. And we're down to the last drawer. Okay, so we're just down to the last drawer, just smoothing that right down. Looks like I measured well, so that's always good. And then what I'm gonna do is also just run some more of the decoupage medium along those edges, and I'm gonna run some down this edge as well, just to make sure that I've got the right amount of contact that I want, and those edges don't stick up. So again, I'm just gonna use this to apply, and then I'll use my fingers to smooth it out. and just make sure I've got no excess medium that's gonna dry out and leave me with some ridges or anything. So I'm just gonna smooth that, move back a touch. As I said, you can use this as, as a top, kind of top coat sealer for your decoupage project as well. It, dry, it really is a super tough finish for your decoupage paper. I've got, I can feel a little wrinkle there, so I'm just going to pull that back up. There we go. Just smooth that out a little bit. I think we've, I think I've got a little patch there that's not got much goo left. So there we go. I'm just going to do that. That's better. So as I said, once this is dry, I shall just run on that, that corner edge there, just with some, with a sanding block, just to finish that edge off neatly. And I'm just making sure that all of those bits have got good contact. And there we go. So that's part one. Thanks for joining me.